the site that many call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Start this drive out on the ground. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. Mahomes now to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's caught inside the 30. City touchdown. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the tail. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. They go play action with Hurts. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. They'll get this one complete, that's A.J. Brown. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 47. They'll go again with Sanders. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? On second and 11 now. Hurts. Smith catches left side. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. the 37 on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 30. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
In motion goes the tight end. They go back to the ground with Sanders to about the 26 here. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball and they're the ones dictating to the defense. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup lays it to third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Another run with Sanders. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. So it's third and goal now. This is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. Sanders will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. You know, in the NFL, that's usually not the recipe for being around too long. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. Elliott Good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Fields it right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. is Mahomes on third. Across the formation, Hardman gets a completion. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 
We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now it's Mahomes again. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Before we came up to the booth, the last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, feel the last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Nick Burton, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll throw now on the final play. Looking here for Smith downfield. It's caught at the 10. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So they grab the lead just before half with a clock reading 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. How about snatching things right at the end? and grabbing a little bit of control. What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Right back to Sanders on first down. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Nick Burton there on the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. 
And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Another run here with Sanders. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Two yards good enough for the first. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 21 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Elliott now to kick this one away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The 
KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles...